Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today is Record Store Day, although the, the one I've bought has nothing to do with Record Store Day. I had a look at the drop, yes, the Record Store Day is done in two drops, there's one today, and there's another one in July. And I had a look at, you know, what was coming out today, for this special day, and I didn't know 90% of the artists on there. Um, uh, I had, so there was a Noel Gallagher one, which I already got. I'm not going to get it now, it's over there. Um, and the other ones, I had no clue. Uh, there was a Linkin Park one, but I've already got it. And I just didn't think it was, <laughs> there was anything there. But anyway, I thought, maybe the website's a bit iffy, so I'll go down anyway. And I got there quite early. I didn't <laughs> didn't expect, so the line came out the door of Rough Trade, which was, so Rough Trade was the only record shop around me that was taking part. So the line went and came out the door and went all the way around the block. Uh, right the way, I mean, you're not going to know, but it came pretty far. I mean, I probably would have been waiting an hour to get in, which is just ridiculous. So <laughs> I went to HMV, the other record store, and walked straight in through the door. Now, I saw this and it was quite cheap. They had a few prints live out. Well, I might as well show you. This is <laughs> Prince Purple Rain. Uh... Prince Purple Rain in New York, Volume 1. Carrier Dome, is it Sacruz? Sacruz? New York, the 30th of March, 1985. Um, so they had a few Prince live albums, and I have wanted to pick up a live album. But this one was $20, and the other ones were like $40 and $60. And I'm not sure they had much else. Like, they didn't have, uh, it wasn't a double album or anything. So... Yeah, sometimes the, the prices of albums can be a bit iffy too. Anyway, enough about that. Prince live album. I don't, this is the first Prince live album I've owned. Obviously, I've, I've heard him live. I've watched him on YouTube. He's amazing live. You know, some artists are brilliant in the studio, but they kind of suck uh, in live shows. I've heard that uh, ZZ Top is one of them. I've never heard them live. So this is not me saying this, but... I've read online that it's easy to a crap live. Whereas some people like Prince are amazing live. Um, I'll show you the back. So I'm going to unbox this. It's not going to be very long. It's just really small. And then there'll be a clear cut after I've listened to it, as we usually do. So a side A starts with Let's Go Crazy. Uh, Delirious. 1999. Bum, bum. <laughs> Little Red Corvette. Take Me With You. Do Me Baby, Irresistible YouTube Sense of Word, Irresistible B I T C H, uh, Possessed, How Come You Don't Call Me Anymore, Let's Pretend We're Married, which is amazing, International Lover, and God. The most commercially successful period, period in Prince's hugely productive but ultimately way too short musical career. By the mid 80s, this maverick performer, musician, and composer was at the peak of his global popularity following the release of 1999 in 82. The album which contained Prince's first top 10 single, Little Red Corvette, and the formation of his group, The Revolution, Prince embarked on his most adventurous move so far, the 1984 motion picture and subsequent studio album, Purple Rain. He insisted on playing lead role in the film, despite having had no previous acting experience, but it went on to earn over 80 million at the box office. Few were, compl yeah, few were complaining. The soundtrack album was even a great of success, selling more than 13 million copies in the US alone. The record remained at the top of the Billboard album charts for 24 weeks, it spawned four top 10 singles, and earned an Academy Award for the best original songs Song score category. Purple Rain was the first project ever to achieve a <coughs> number one album, single, and movie simultaneously, which is true and really cool. The record, the recording presented on this vinyl set, comes from a spectacular show performed while Prince and the Revolution were on the Purple Rain tour. The concert, which took place at Carrier Dome in Sacruz, New York. On the 13th of March, 13th, 30th of March, 1985, captures brilliantly the magnificence of the tour. Prince's most successful 
ever which resulted. See, prints most successful ever which resulted in sales. That doesn't make any sense. Prints, anyway, in sales over 1.7 million tickets across 98 shows in all, taken from a perfectly balanced and mixed FM broadcast of the event. This archive release, available here in its completion for the first time on vinyl, will prove both delight and a must-have package for every Prince fan around. I don't know why I read all that, but it's just cool. And he is amazing live. He did a Super Bowl. I forget which year it is, because I don't know my American football. But uh, he did a Super Bowl halftime show while it was tipping down with rain. And in that moment, he looked like the coolest dude who'd ever lived. Uh, so he always looks cool, look cool on stage. Oh, is it coloured? Oh, yeah. It's always better when it's a coloured record. And when you buy a Prince one... You... Sleeve on the floor. Go there. <laughs> when you buy a Prince one, it's almost always purple. But I'm not complaining. This is really cool. Uh, side A. Let's go crazy. Delirious. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to go and listen to this. And I'll let you know what I think. We're So, before I get into it, uh, I've had to open all the windows. It's a very hot in the UK today. Uh, so you might hear some background noise. This sounds phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> sounds phenomenal. Um, especially for, I mean, a live album in the early 80s. It, you know, the sound quality is amazing. But Prince is so cool. Uh, at one point near the end of the album, he's talking about, you know, what would you do if I gave it to you? And he's uh, obviously talking about his uh, certain appendage that only men have on the body. Um, and he's the crowd are, are cheering and roaring and he's going, who screamed? Did you scream? Did you scream? Uh, why don't you call me anymore? Does your new new boyfriend have an ass as big as mine? <laughs> Things like that. Brilliant. Um, the long drawn out guitar solo on Let's Go Crazy is fantastic. Sounds amazing. And oh, I could just imagine him wailing on the guitar. He's an amazing guitarist. Um, and then that sort of bleeds into Delirious, which has always been such a catchy and upbeat song. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, 1999, uh, amazing rendition of the song. And Little Red Corvette. It was a little shorter than I'd hoped, but it was still amazing. It was one of my favourite Prince songs, especially the chorus. And then Take Me With You, with this long, long, drawn-out ending of the song that was just amazing. And then when all the other, when his band sort of stopped playing, and then it's just his vocals, it, it's brilliant. Uh, I absolutely adored that. Uh, Do Me Baby sound amazing. Uh, irresistible. Uh b word i can't i i have found that if i swear in these videos i get less views uh it's weird anyway uh possessed sound amazing uh, how come you don't call me anymore where he starts talking about his behind it's just brilliant and uh, let's pretend we're married international lover and god they they were different songs but it all sort of blended into one which is fine it's a live album but it was just a wild ride and i love when it when uh, it got to the song God. He was saying, you know, what's the difference between life and death? It's God. And I believe in you and all this lovely stuff. And obviously, he was a really religious dude. Um, but it's an amazing song. The whole performance is fantastic. And, you know, there are some artists that are all right on stage. And then there are some that can command the crowd. I'm thinking Elton John, Freddie Mercury. And Prince is one of those people. I mean, I've seen it. I've watched live shows. And he just has this stage presence. Uh, Michael Jackson's another one. Just has this, this stage presence that you don't get with a lot of other artists and bands, you know. And people want to be there. He said, you could hear him. He said there was something like 40,000 odd people. And I'm assuming it's a stadium. I've never been. Um, which is just brilliant, you know. That was a fantastic listen. And again, it's not a uh, Record Store Day release. 
It actually came out in 2016. And I think, I was, see, I hate with one. Anyway, I, I think that from my reading, it came out after his passing as like a tribute. I'm not sure on that one. But yeah, I would definitely recommend you give this a listen or listen to Prince live anyway. He's amazing live. Uh, but this was fantastic. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I know a lot of people who watch me love Prince. So if you heard this uh, live show before or you have any other live shows I should check out. <laughs> That's me. I'll list them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Take care everyone.